Every year, beautiful gardens are ruined by slugs and snails who aren't deterred by beer traps, eggshells, coffee grinds, or other home remedies. If you really want to keep slugs and snails from destroying your garden, you need a proven treatment. And nothing is proven to be more effective than products that contain meta-active ingredient such as Cory's and Deadline. These products are specifically developed to rid your garden of slugs and snails only, and they do not harm beneficial organisms like bees, earthworms, and beetles. Simply spread the pellets or meal evenly throughout the garden right before dusk, just before slugs and snails come out for their nightly feedings. Liquid paste is just as easy to apply. Always follow the directions on the package for proper application tips and treatments. It's really just that easy. So if you want to get serious about slug and snail control, look for products with the Meta logo. Maximize living with Marquee, your casual living store, and a gorgeous barbecue island. Every model includes a built-in grill, refrigerator, and granite counters. There's only one grill central. You'll find it at Marquee Casual Living. You'll love the amazing selection and price match guarantee. You'll love the outdoor furniture at Marquee Casual Living, too. Place your custom order today or select from in-stock inventory with 30% off select sets. Marquee, your casual living store in Tigard and Clackamas. The sun and the earth, pure, natural. Is there a better blend of organic? For your garden, there's Black Gold All Organic Potting Soil. It's 100% organic. You'll see the OMRI listing right on the bag. It's perfectly balanced with quality natural ingredients and an organic fertilizer. Unlike other brands, Black Gold contains earthworm castings, the purest form of plant food. Black Gold, your recipe for a natural garden. Sold only at local independent garden centers. For the one nearest you, log on to sungro.com. Well, about six weeks ago, we started a segment we called a garden makeover with Diana Childers. Diana, good morning. Good morning. Nice to be here. And I just want to say that when we did this before, this area was really kind of a mess. Yes, it was. It was. Okay. And I've been amazed at coming here six weeks later, what you've done. So let's look at what it did look like. It looked like before when we were here, this whole area was all just lawn. Right. Right. Okay. And mud. And mud. And it all sloped down. Correct. Drainage was really bad. Yes. You had fir boughs hanging way over from trees that needed to be limbed. Right. And what else was bad? There must have been something. Some terrible shrubs against the back fence. Okay. And you've taken everything out. Taken okay. everything out. Okay. So this is what it did look like. And now you're kind of, would you say, maybe the completion of, maybe phase one of, maybe if there were five phases, this might be one? Yes. Okay. All right. But you did, to let people know, you did have a plan drawn up. We did. All right. And when you did this, did you tell the designer some of the ideas you wanted on here? I mean, did you say like, I want a fire pit, I want a water feature, I want a small lawn? I gave them a little bit of information, but mostly free reign. Okay. Now, where we're standing right now, this is going to be what? This will be a small patio with a fire pit in the middle. Okay, so right here would be the fire pit. Yes. All right. And then as we walk up here, first of all, these pavers are all new, right? Right. The, the steps coming up or down are all new. And then this wall right here, would you tell me it's going to come around? Where's it going to go? It's going to curve up to the upper patio. So it's going to just curve around like that? Right. Okay. And it will be, what, this height? Yes. All right. And then over here, you this is going to go to the house? To the house. All right. And behind us, where the posts are, will be a what? There will be a garden shed. And how do you get there? There will be a gravel path and then another gravel path from the upper patio. From here, so you can get into that? Yes. Okay. Then, as we walk up here, it's really, it's, it's amazing to be here, Diana, and see the difference you've done. But tell me, before we get up here, down there in that hole, you have two different pipes. Those are for what? Right, for a sprinkler system and then some conduit so we can put in landscape lighting. Okay, so that's really important for people to remember if they're going to do this on their own, is to get that in before you put this on top. Right. Right, otherwise you'd have a no bit access. of a problem. <laughs> okay, so we go up here, and then th what's this area going to be right here? This will be a dining space. Uh, oval table and chairs. All right. And then this flows into the house. The house. All right. And then it also flows out to the gate. Right. All right. Then the area over there we have the board is what? 
there'll be a water feature, a bubbling urn. All right. And what about the area around that? What's that going to be? Um, plantings. And we hope to put some trellises up against the fence, some climbing vines. All right. So up against the fence where you have that gravel along there, that's for drainage? Yes. We had to have drainage put in the side of the house and the upper and lower areas of the yard. Okay. So has it rained quite a bit since you had this? I mean, do you know if it works? It does work. It rained every Saturday, except for two that we've been working out here. Okay, so the drainage works. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> okay, but we had thought maybe some iron trellises up there would give you a nice break from the house next door. So yes. that would be kind of, all right. Now over here, where you have all the gravel, that's going to be what? Well, that gravel is going to be used in pathways and then there'll be some grassy areas and planting beds. So the area over here is lawn? And uh, there's going to be a little lawn space and a perennial bed up against the fence. Mm -hmm. And then what about the, the cinder blocks that are along there? That's for what? Those are to protect the fence when we put in fill dirt. Okay, so then all along there you'll have fill dirt and then maybe some good topsoil? Yes. And then you can put in some nice shrubs back there. Right. Okay. Some nice shrubs and some perennials. Okay. Diana, this is great. I commend you on what you've done so far. You've been quite a bit yourself, haven't you and your husband? Yes, we've been out here every weekend. Okay. Well, that's good for you. It's good for the soul, isn't My it? My poor back. Good for the body. <laughs> You're back. Yeah. No, it's great. And we'll come back then uh, for phase two. All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks.